What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm with my friend Ty and his bad Cadillac CTSV. What's up guys? And we're headed on to our way to uh, Slamden of Austin. So let's get this vlog started. All right guys, so we're here at the uh, Palmer Event Center at Slamming Up, here with the gang. Got Ashley, got Ty, got Elizabeth. We're about to head inside and show you guys some of the cool cars here at Slamming Up. Alright guys, so I'm here at Slammed Enough and uh, I got a good friend with me. You guys have seen him in a lot of my videos before, so today we're going to go ahead and uh, take an in closer depth look at his car. Uh, you guys have seen him on my Instagram, uh, my videos, and uh, here he is. What's up, Anthony? What's up, man? So, tell us what you got here today. Alright, so what I have here is my 1993 Nissan 240 SX. So, when you were building it, it's a 240, but the front end is completely different. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us why you chose the Sylvia front end? So the S15 front end is uh, it's actually one of my personal favorite front ends. I was never really a fan of the rear ends of the S15. Uh, the 180 SX rear end has actually been my favorite. And they've been doing S13.5 built since like the early 2000s. So I just kind of like took that and then put it like a modern day twist on it, obviously with the Rocket Bunny kit. Nice. So yeah, now that you said that, the Rocket Bunny kit, so when you did the Rocket Bunny kit, uh, did you have any trouble because the back was different than the front? I mean, I didn't have any trouble, but it wasn't exactly just like straight bolt-on. So I actually had to buy two different kits, obviously. I had to buy the S15 front end with the 180SX sides and rear. And then the rear didn't, or like the side skirts didn't exactly line up with the back of the S15. So I had to do like a little cutting and modifying to make that work a little bit. Very cool. So looking at the car here, you got, uh, I see you don't got the original engine in it. No. I went ahead and went with the 2JZ GTE motor. I get a lot of questions why I went with the 2JZ. Uh, it's just what I'm used to, you know, and RVs aren't exactly a diamond dozen here, but 2Js, I can just go to like any old JDM junkyard and pick one up relatively easy. 
So you got the 2J in there. What about the transmission? What about the gearbox? The transmission is the R155 five speed out of like the MK3 Supra. Oh, gotcha. Uh, so what size turbo is that you're running? It's a 6267 Gen 2 Precision. So motor. is that like bigger, smaller? A lot of people tell me it's kind of small for the motor, but it spools up really quick, and that's really what I want. Oh, you got any numbers for us or no? It has 500 horsepower on about 12 pounds of boost. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, the cars are the light, so you don't yeah, really need that Yeah, no, it, it feels a lot quicker than it is, but uh, we had a boost leak on the dyno, uh, so technically it's on low boost. Uh, we had it fixed. We just haven't had time to go back and tune it out, but my tuner says he could probably crack 600. Oh, wow, that's nice. That's nice. What about suspension mods? So the suspension is uh, obviously you can see right there is the Kuska strut bar and then like the coilovers are the uh, D2 racing air suspension with the Vera air management. Nice. So you're air riding low, huh? Yes. So uh, is it comfortable on the highway? Or? Oh yeah, it's super comfortable. It's like riding on a cloud. Uh, I originally had uh, coilovers from D2. I just, with how low the bumper actually hangs on the car, uh, I just couldn't get it as low as I wanted while still being able to drive around. So honestly, I mean, like, there are some regrets with air, but for the most part, I'm happy I want it. Nice. So moving on to the uh, inside of the car, okay. uh, there's another uh, 240 out here, and he's got a completely gutted interior. Right. So uh, he, he went with the race look, and that's how I originally was going to go too. Uh, my all is it's shaved inside, it's cleaned up, all the sound deadening's out, it's painted. But then I just like. That's the cheap way out. That's the easy it way is. out. Yeah, that's so I just went ahead and redid all my interior with like the uh, full custom suede and uh, purple stitching throughout everything. So the back seats are suede, the front seats, the A pillars, the roof liner, and the dash. Nice. And you were mentioning uh, your front arrow, but uh, what about your back arrow? You got some battle arrow back there. So I got the battle arrow chassis. Uh, I think it's the V4. And yeah, that thing wasn't exactly easy to put in. Like I think we got it like partially in, just testing it and then we couldn't pull it back out. I actually needed a forklift to pull it out. Wow, so, so it's in their tight. It's, it's not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So how about uh, wheels and tires? What kind are you running? Uh, these, I am running the uh, TE37Vs, but uh, I have TE37SLs on order, but since I had to go with a custom spec, they take forever to get here. So, gotcha. uh, and I've been dealing with them back and forth. They're stuck in customs over there, and they just won't ship them until they get the container full. Gotcha. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's new. Yeah. You got that coming new. What about the paint color? Uh, uh, the paint is a, it's a, what is it? It's an avalanche gray off the Ford Raptor. Oh, okay. I think it was only on the Ford Raptor for like one year. Oh, nice. And uh, I see you got some race style seats in there. Are those? They're, uh, they're the Brom Falcon seats. Just uh, rewrapped and suede with the Fal or the Brom five point harness. Very nice. Well, Anthony, I won't take up too much of your time, man. Right, I appreciate right. you talking to us about the car. No problem, always no a problem. showstopper. It's always good seeing you. Thank always you. good hanging out. Thank you. Um, so you guys go to a little, some details about the car that uh, I haven't talked about before. But that's Anthony at Doughboy's Garage. I'll add it here in the uh, at the bottom of the screen. So make sure you give him a follow. Uh, check out the car and uh, check out his YouTube channel as well.
right, guys, there you have it. Slant enough, 2019, Austin, Texas. Over and out, so going to go get something to eat. If you guys enjoy this video, you already know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next video.